The Books You Won't Put Down. Grab the House of Lazenberry series by author Daniel Webb since his controversial interview at the Hip Hop Uncensored podcast. The Books Can't Stay on the Shelf. Grab the series The House of Lazenberry, The House of Lazenberry 1970H, and The House of Lazenberry A Time to Hill. Link in the description box. It's Mike Ross, also known as Mike on the Mic. He's getting ready for his upcoming 2022 comedy run. He'll be kicking it off at Vinnie Brand's Stress Factory Comedy Club. Caroline's on Broadway, Punchline Philly. You don't want to miss him, take the stage at the D.C. Improv. Then he'll be coming to the Atlanta Improv and at Chocolate Sunday's Comedy Show in Los Angeles, California. With, with um, the trial, uh, where are you guys at now uh, with the trial as far as um, you know, the timeline? If you can give us a little timeline. Uh. Shit, you know, I got kicked out of it the other day. I don't know. <laughs> they told me what. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, so I've been down there, you know, they 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 didn't need me down there none this week at all. But I've been down there every day with a fresh Nipsey shirt on. Uh uh when they brought this when they brought stupid cuz out there, you know, he looking around the courtroom, he don't see me sitting behind him, you know. But when he finally did turn around, you know, and he seen me. Uh, and I chunked the hood up on him, said, nigga, called him stupid, nigga, you know, and he turned his ass back around, never looked back again, mm. you know, uh, you know, uh, like I said, uh, yeah, yeah, you guys don't know where my mind at, and, and I, and, you yeah. know, like I said, it's, it's a long trial, it's a long trial, we got a long way to go, yeah. uh, you know, I'm interested to, see, yeah, to see the outcome of this, uh, uh, I hope I'm still free to, you know, to, you know, whatever it may be, though. But, yeah, uh, I'm going to participate in in, 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 the, in the trial uh, uh, and I'm going to give my uh, I'm going to give my testimony on uh, on the nature of his conversation. Uh, uh, my my testimony is not going to uh, it's not going to convict him. It's not going to make or break the case or whatever. So. Somebody want to say I'm snitching or whatever it is. It is what it is. But uh, uh, I'm gonna let the world know the truth, regardless. Uh, but like I said, my my testimony is not gonna make a break, make the, break it, break the case. Did you did it take a minute to to contemplate whether or not you were going to um, give a testimony? Because obviously, you know, you right under a different code, and even getting on there, kind of you like you said earlier, kind of goes against the grain. But this situation is very different than most. So did you contemplate it at all? Or was it a no brainer? Like, did you feel like you owed it to him, his family? Like, how was your thinking process behind going through and, and going with the testimony? Well, it was a no brainer for me. I was going regardless, just so I can look this nigga in his eye, uh, yeah. possibly get close to him, see how close I could get to the guy, whatever, you know, uh, my mind was everywhere, you know, but I knew for one, I'm going, I was going, uh, um, like I said, I knew, I knew, I knew it was gonna be controversy as far as the street politics and shit is concerned. But you know, I analyzed it and I analyzed uh, the information that I got to offer the police or I got to offer the DA. Uh, uh, I have no information that the videotape uh, doesn't have other than the audio, of me me hearing the actual conversation. You know what I mean? So that's the only thing that I. Uh, I can testify to that the world don't know about is basically the, the nature of that conversation. Uh, everything after that, uh, you guys seen on videotape. Yeah. Right now, how do you feel about and was it wasn't like a female that was there? Do you ever see a female with um the guy? And how do you feel about yeah, her yeah. not being uh, charged? And is she cooperating um with the prosecution? Yeah, she's uh. Apparently she's showing up to court. Uh, she showed up the other day, you know. Okay. So, uh, so she's 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 definitely showing up. Uh, uh, really, I, I really can't say I fought her. Uh, I don't really know. Uh, when I get to the when some some point in time during the trial, hopefully I get a chance to talk to her and kind of figure out uh, what what his mind state was or what was going on. Uh. I guess right, you know, right now we really can't can't do too much speaking with each other. Uh, they've been on me about me going live and broadcasting and stuff like that. Uh, 
So they put some type of, I'm not sure what type of order it is where they don't want me back in the courtroom until it's time for uh time for me to go up uh on the stand or whatever it may be. So uh so I think they're gonna be pick finished picking the jury probably today. Uh more than likely, more than likely I'll be on the stand next week, but uh it's gonna be one police that's gonna go first, and uh, I should be the, the second, the second uh, witness. Uh, there's a couple of other witnesses for sure that I know that you know. Uh, I don't think they're gonna come though, but I've been talking to them. But uh, like I said, the videotape tell it all. Uh, but yeah, uh, a lot of people that they're not gonna show up as well. A lot of people in that parking lot. Wow. Now this is.